Good afternoon. Today is the 6th of March. As you can see, uh, I'm using the uh, Rover today because we've got the manual sunroof, which allows in a lot more light. And it's time for your favorite monthly dose of automotive entertainment, the top 10 best-selling cars of February 2020. Yes, indeed. For those of you who um, are not familiar with the way that these videos work, um, you won't see any images on the screen of any cars or anything. Um, that just takes me too long to do, so you'll just have to bear with me. Um, if you want to turn the, the screen off and look at something else whilst doing this, this is a bit like a podcast. And so that's absolutely fine, I don't mind, and hopefully you'll find the analysis interesting. I'm only talking about cars that were registered in February 2020. Clearly, there were some cars which were ordered before the date happened or in that month, but I'm not talking about new car sales, I'm just talking about registrations. So um, I have, for example, a viewer who bought an MG ZS CV last year, but he's only just registered it. So that sale then, then comes through on this data from the SMMT, as a registration for that particular month. So if things are a bit out of kilter, um, then that's why it is. Also, when I talk and say that a manufacturer is down in a certain month, that means it's down in relation to what happened last year at the same time. So if I say MG had an increase of X percent in February 2020, I mean an increase over February 2019. It's always worth saying that because that is how the figures are correlated and that's how it works. Without further ado, let's get on with it. If I lean over and um, you are um, perhaps sort of um, wondering why I'm leaning over like this, it's because I have to adjust my screen sometimes to see some of the data. I'm using the SMMT website because that's where the most accurate information is and everyone else, if they make a report on this, will be using the same data that the Society of Motor Manufacturers and Traders use. So I do apologise if the screen moves, that's just what's going on. So um, if I look, for example, at private sales for February 2020, the uh, private sales for last month for about 34,000. The percentage change of that is 7.4% over February 2019, and a market share of private sales for February 2020 is about 43%. Fleet sales, um, they've gone up slightly. They're about 44,000. The biggest change, though, is in business, where there's been a 30% change in um, business registrations since... Um, February 2019. So February 2020 or 2019, there's a 20, there's a 30% increase, and that's about um, 1,500 cars. It's not a huge amount, but it it is an increase, which is interesting because I think a year ago we had a lot less certainty about Brexit. Obviously, we've still got uncertainty about Brexit, but it was a bit more, and so that's probably what affected it. Let's now look at uh, fuel types and see how that compares. Uh, first of all, diesel, that's down by 27% over February 2019. Petrol is down by 7%. That's quite a big decrease. The market share has gone from 63% with petrol to 60%. Battery electric vehicles, like, I don't know, uh, Tesla Model 3, they have um, increased massively since February 2019. Um, to about two and a half thousand. Plug-in hybrid electric vehicles, despite the dropping of the government incentive for those, uh, they have actually increased quite a lot as well, uh, to about two thousand. Doesn't sound like a lot, but that is still a fifty percent increase on February two thousand and nineteen. Hybrid electric vehicles, that's stuff like Toyota Corolla Hybrid. That has um, increased as well by 72%, about 4,000 sold in February 2020. Mod hybrid diesel, well, it's all sorts of things now, like Audi A4s and even the Audi, um, I think Audi Q8s, that as well now. Um, that is a 
no, sorry, a 468% increase, which is about 1,900 cars. Mild hybrid petrol, like a Suzuki Ignis, or um, a Subaru XV e-boxer, that is uh, about 188% increase. Overall, um, there were something like um, 80,000 cars registered, which is a point, sorry, a 2.9% decrease over February 2019. Let's now look at some of the bestsellers for top 10 best-selling cars for February 2020. First place is the Volkswagen Golf, uh, 3,500 or thereabouts. Second place is Ford Fiesta. So actually they've switched because the Fiesta is normally number one. Ford Fiesta, 3,100. Third, the Ford Focus, uh, 2,800. I imagine the reason why the Golf is doing so well is literally because they're trying to get rid of the Mark 7.5s now. The Mark 8 is already out. I think you can order a Mark 8 now. And there's a Vauxhall Corsa. There's not as much as usual, but I reckon that's due to the fact the new model's just coming on stream now. I know there are various events that are going on um, at Vauxhall dealerships to incentivize the new Corsa E. But I think the actual course has been on sale for a little bit now. That's uh, 1,900. Then Mercedes-Benz A-Class, um, that's 1,700. Vauxhall Grand Line X, about 1,550. Um, the Grand Line X is doing pretty well this year so far, actually. Then the seventh place is Volkswagen Polo, that's about 1,450. Then the Mini, that's about 1,350. Then Nissan Qashqai, about 1,330. And then, sorry, about 13 to 1,293. One, and then only six cars behind that. This is fascinating, but BMW 5 Series. I know a man from the Matt Pima channel, Mr. Willard, who will be very happy about that indeed. Now it's the favourite bit for many of you. It's where I rant on about how individual manufacturers are doing. And we've got some good news to start us off. Always this is alphabetical order. And it's a market share... Uh, between February 2019 and February 2020, and also the number of cars that were sold. Abarth, they've only got one model on sale. It's all variations on the Abarth, fine 595, 695. Um, this is an increase of 24%. Excellent. Alfa Romeo, an increase of 2.75%. Fantastic. Audi, decrease of 12%. I don't really know why. Don't really understand that. Who knows? Bentley, a decrease of 6.67%. Don't really know what that might be, but there we go. BMW, despite the 5 Series coming in number 10 this month, um, a decrease of 3.14% uh, over February 2019. Citroen, a decrease of 3.32%. Now bear in mind that all these figures I'm quoting they are in the context of a market that's shrinking by 2.9%. So anything which is above minus 2.9% is actually above the market trend. So that's fine. Dacia, uh, they are down by 18.35%. There's not a lot of new models coming out of Dacia. That's probably one of the reasons. Deas, um they are massively increasing. They only sold 58 cars in February 2019, and they sold 140 cars in February 2020. That's an increase of 141%. So that's very good. Fiat. Now, people keep going on about the Tipo Saloon, and, you know, just standing joke I've had for several months. I put a walk around of one on my channel last month. You need to see that. But actually, it's worked. They, they had a very, very big decrease last year virtually every month and they've had an increase of 15 percent and that must be due to a tipo saloon the fiat 500 um, hybrid isn't quite out yet the hybrid replaces replaces all normal fiat 500 models apart from the electric one that's coming out next year so um it must be a tipo saloon there's no doubt about it so obviously that's been a good market decision for them excellent ford um who have had the fiesta replaced by the Volkswagen golf this month past in terms of a, the best seller in the country they're down by 19 percent. that's quite a decrease i think volkswagen has actually sold more cars than them 
um, over the last month. It just shows you really where the market's going and that people prefer the the brands that are perceived as more luxurious or perceived as premium, even if they're not. Honda, they're up by 3.3%. That's very good. I don't know what particularly that will be, but they've got some good deals at the moment. Hyundai are down by 8%. I don't really know why. Jaguar are down by 15%. I couldn't tell you why again. I'm not really sure. Uh, Jeep down by 80%. Perhaps when that uh, new Renegade plug-in hybrid comes in, then that um, will decrease a bit. Land Rover, they're up by 33.5% um, over February 2019. That's a, that's a nice increase. I bet they'll be happy with that. Lexus, up by 61%. Both these manufacturers are now offering hybrids or plug-in hybrids. Um, bear that in mind. Lotus, um, they only sold two cars last month. Hopefully they'll sell a few more. Maserati. Now, FCA are doing pretty well so far with, with these statistics, particularly um, Abart, Fiat, and Alfa Romeo. But Maserati, a bit like Jeep, they have a decreasing, down by 37%. Mazda down by 39%. I don't really know why. Mercedes-Benz, um, a lot of cars sold last month, but not as many as last year, down by 5.6%. MG, fastest growing manufacturer last month, not a surprise, up by 97.1%. They almost sold 1,000 cars last month, they were 883, which, considering Mitsubishi sold under half of that, um, that's pretty good. Sanyon sold under a tenth of that, which is weird. I don't know, I don't understand that, but there we go. Uh, Mini uh, up by 8.2%, that's good. Mitsubishi down by 43%. That's not so good. Perhaps the um, facelifted Mirage will help, but I don't know. Nissan, uh, strong sales for the Qashqai last month. They are up by 12.8%, maybe down to the new Juke. That is the first new Juke in 10 years, so quite possibly. Peugeot are down by 10%. Don't really know why. Perhaps that new 2 it's not on stream yet. Porsche, they're down by 30%. 6.3%. Sorry, up by 36.3%. I do apologize. Up by 36.3%. Very good. Possibly the, the Taycan um, and the Panamera S and things like that. I don't know. Renault, they're down by 32%. Perhaps that new um, capture that's coming out, that could help. Sayat, they're up by 11%. Very good. Um, that's despite not really having introduced uh, any new models um, recently. I don't know whether Cupra comes under a different brand or say at register Cupra under their own name. I don't know, but that's a pretty good increase. Skoda up by 8%. I don't know why. I don't think we knew Octavia's out yet. So, yeah, perhaps there's some strong deals going on on the existing cars like the Octavia, the Fabia. Smart, no surprise, down by 60%. Sanyong, first time I've seen an increase in a long time, 21.2% wonderful fantastic it's only 80 cars sold last month that's very good it's better than subaru subaru only sold 24 cars last month in the entire country um hopefully with the new e-boxer engines that um planet auto have got a full review coming out on an um, xv e boxer soon so that, look forward to that suzuki down by 63 percent. i don't really know what's happened to suzuki um they introduced a lot of mild hybrid engines um, on their cars the Jimny is sadly going to be discontinued because it doesn't help with the average fleet emission standards. That's a shame. But, you know, once they get a lot more mild hybrid cars coming out, I know the Ignis manuals are now all mild hybrid, which is interesting. Toyota, now this is not a surprise at all. Um, all Corollas are now mild hybrids. Um, but you can't even buy the 1.2 petrol anymore that was a standard engine. Um, they're up by 48%. No surprises there. Vauxhall, they're up by 4.6%, and the Grand and X and the Corsa are selling well. So that's really good. Volkswagen sold more cars than Ford last month. Um, 8,950 cars, and that is a 12.4% uh, increase. And it says here 11.24% market share. Uh, Volvo... Finally, which is normally comes to Volvo last, um, they sold 1,800 cars last month, and that is a 5.7 increase on February 2019. So there we go, a bit of a mixed picture, I'd say, uh, overall for February 2020. Overall, the 
decreases 2.9%. That's not as bad as I've seen in some months from 2019, but it's still not really what everyone wants to hear. But in total, they sold almost 80,000 cars last month, and they will probably sell a lot this month. I uh, attended um, a sort of sales event for Fiat and Seat um, at, at the same dealership network this afternoon, and um, the deals are seem keen enough, but obviously I kept my hand on my wallet and I didn't buy anything. We'll go into a separate video next week about what could possibly replace the Toledo, the 2020 edition, because I know I did one a year ago too. So thank you ever so much indeed for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Please like this video and leave a comment below. It very much helps out. Um, my Facebook page is facebook.com forward slash Lloyd Bear Consulting. If you wish me to need a source of coffee, I'd love to do that. It doesn't have to be anything I've mentioned in the video today. Um, then please visit my website, www.lloydvehicleconsulting.co.uk. And there's a contact tab on the front uh, page there for you to get in touch with me directly. Thank you ever so much indeed once again for watching.